Hello YouTube! Sorry about the light, it's a little bit dark, but yeah, I had no other choice, so... Survive! Welcome back to Fool My Lizards! Today we are joined by Queeby, my Grinchy Conyer. Can you say Fool My Lizards? Can you say Fool My Lizards? Say Fool My Lizards. Now I, I guess, I guess you can. She can, she can. I just, I just learned it. Say foam and lizards. Foam and lizards! You see? She can do it. Well, anyway. This will be a small update about my aquarium that I made a few weeks ago. The aquascaping. There are some few changes. And, well, I just let it be what I have made so I didn't really do anything about it but I did add some grey fish and I forgot the name again one of these days I really need to remember the names just one second alright so its scientific name is Procamberus Eleni Eleni I don't know if I say it right but yeah I'll put it in beneath here somewhere so yeah I can't really show them to you at the moment because they are always hiding when since I bought them they are always scared and a little bit aggressive to each other one of them actually misses a shear or a, a hand I don't know how that's called in English but yeah I really hope they don't stress each other too much out but they really really made a mess of the aquarium so today I'm going to fix that I'm going to add some shrimps from my other aquarium paludarium into it because I have a lot of algae growing and yeah well it all needs to be fixed so let's do it today shall we? shall we creep? shall we? Oh. say hello or not yeah. alright so, please don't poo. Uh, anyway. Alright. <laughs> she really doesn't like the camera too much, uh, I guess. Because she's always flying and that kind of stuff when I'm filming some things. So, yeah. Well, anyway. Let's continue. Alright then, it's really hard to film an aquarium from the outside, so I apologize for the images, but you will figure out what I mean, I guess. So you cannot see the crayfish at the moment, they are hiding. I almost never see them because they are a little bit scared. So I will show you a picture of them, but yeah, you can see most of the moss, they just they just got it off the of the rocks and well made a big mess of it you have a plant over here that is that is loose from the ground I have some dead plants over there so yeah they really oh and the waterfall I have to fix that because it's not working at the moment it's working a little bit you can see it's dripping so it's still working but I guess the pump is a little bit, uh, maybe there's some sand in it or something. I am going to fix that in a minute. But yeah, so they made one big mess. First let me go upstairs, get some shrimps. And then, well, we're going to put them in here and see how it goes. Yay! Alright, here we are. This is my paludarium with my red-eyed tree frog. And also a lot of my shrimps. So I have my, how's this called? I have to learn English someday. Uh, anyway, this thing and a cup. So they can go in. I will just get some out and put them in an aquarium. But I know for a fact that these guys are actually really afraid when I open this and show myself. So, um, I will mask myself for the time being so they do not recognize me
All right, now let's catch them and I hope this works. Oh, already got one. The mess doesn't make things easier, but I will really do my best. And I have a lot of java moss growing. My red tree frog is still sleeping, so it doesn't matter. All right, I think I have enough. Let's close this. Put my masks off. Yeah, they were still a little bit scared. I don't know why, so I my lobsters. But my red-eyed tree frog didn't wake up. So, yeah. I've got like 15 of them. I will give you a closer shot. So let's put them Let's put them downstairs in the aquarium. See you over there. Ah! All right, then. So normally, if you go to an animal store, then and you buy some fish, you get them in a plastic bag, and you have to put them in the aquarium and add some water to it so they can adapt to to the new system. But yeah, I don't have those. I don't have those bags, so I will just. I have them over here. I will just add some water like this and I'll just wait for a little bit. Let's see if we can fix the pot. I actually like how the Java moss is growing into the skull. That's a good sign. Yeah, the pump. Ah, I guess there is just some moss in it that needs to get out and then it's working again. So let's try to fix that with my keys. Or not. Let's just use a toothpick. So probably it will work again. Yeah, it worked. Well, that wasn't so hard. I will actually not fix all of the moss because I just don't want to glue it into the terrarium again, aquarium. So I will get some out and just put it here and there. See if it will grow anyway. So we are now like half an hour later. I think these guys are used to the new water. Let's throw them in and see if we can find them afterwards. All right, they are in. Let's put the lid on. And let's see if we can find them. So we got one over here. Again, it's really hard to focus something in an aquarium from the outside. So, yeah. Here's one. Focus. Yeah, it won't focus. I'm very sorry. But I really hope they will show a lot the next few weeks and reproduce and eat uh, all the algae algae not allergy algae but for now let's help them a little bit give them something to eat that's about it i didn't bought new plants but i will do that in the near future because those are dead which is really my own fault because i knew that i had to do something about these plants but yeah i just didn't so no they're dead really stupid of me but yeah well
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for some more videos. Follow me on Instagram. Say hi to my bird, Queeby, which is nowhere to be found at the moment. Uh, well, anyway, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.